My name is Philippe and in this video we're going to talk about masking. Uh, I'm going to show you two different ways of masking and both of them uh, are easy, fast and uh, effective. So the first one is with the HSL tool that I'm going to bring here. And with this tool we just need to select our pipette and pipette a color that we want to mask. So I'm going to pipette maybe this orange, okay? And now pressing the shift key and pipetting the other tones, we are uh, telling the software that all these tones that I'm picking are going to be part of that, of that mask. Okay, so just pipette as much tones as you can Okay, just make sure that you don't get any greens or the background color. Like this. And then with your brush, select your brush. You just start painting on a new layer. So create a new layer. Yeah, and I'll just start painting on it and it will only paint where the color is set here in this window, right? So when you come here to something like this and you start painting, you will see that it's not complete. As you can see, it doesn't go over the green or anything. So it just paints where, uh, where I selected that, that will paint. So in here now, because it didn't paint here, it means that we need to pick these tones to be part of these two. So again, go to the pipette. With the shift key, just click on these tones there. Move to your paintbrush and start painting and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, it's covering now much more. Yeah, so it's co covering more than and before and this is basically what you want to cover right so all this okay if you come to this one here you can see that there's still some tones missing so let's go there again and do again these tones and paint again now it seems okay yeah so paint all this yeah when you see that now you're getting what you want what you need just go to separate and HSL. It will separate that from the entire design. So once you have this, you'll see that it's very dirty. Yeah. So we need to go to our layers and choose the speckled filter. Okay, so I have here just one set of the speckle filter here. This is the amount that you want software to clean. Then I usually put a little bit of blur to get things a little bit softer. Not too much, obviously, but something like this. And then a second speckle to get rid of something that wasn't uh, clean on the first one. So I apply the filter and I can see that I now have a really nice mask. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you a different technique to mask the green. Okay, so to mask the green, I am going to use this tool called Spot. Okay, so I have this spot here. And again, with my pipette, I'm going to pet a green. This green. I'm going to close this and pipette the green. I'm going to click on new, so the channel is there. And I'm going to take away the tonal because I want this to be a mask, so I want it to be flat. And I'm going to click on over, so I can see the mask over my design. I hit preview and I have all this. So here in the tolerance slider, I'll just increase this until I get only the green. Okay. When it starts to go to the yellow, I should stop. Okay. 
If I need a little bit more, I can push a little bit more further. And then I can come here to this area where this yellow is. And with the control key, I can click there so I get the original color. And I will just new. And then I will pull this to the maximum. So all this disappear, and then I'll just hit the minus there. Okay, so the yellow disappeared from my separation, but it also disappeared a lot from here. So I need to go with this almost to the end so I can get that back something more like that okay I wouldn't worry too much about this because this can be can all be cleaned with the speckle field so I'm going to fix this mask layer yeah and as you can see it's also filled with you know dirt so change the color here and separate the layer and filter browser and I'm going to apply the same filter, yeah? So if you take up the preview, you can see that with this filter, you are losing some things that you don't want to lose. Like this here, this here, and that there. So it means that the, blur, the Gaussian blur or this amount is it's very big. So let's just bring this smaller, yeah? So now they are here again, okay? So we basically just need to clean the dots that are very small. These ones that are around here, we don't need to clean them. So let's just apply this. Let's make the image visible. And now we see that there are some areas that are yellow, not green. So we're just going to clean them. And for that, we're going to use this tool, yeah? With the option keys to go to the pipette, just click anywhere outside the black and then just draw around and you will clean from the mask. This is green, this is not. Okay, so the mask is here and the other one is here. Okay, so now that you have two masks, you can even select them both like this and you can go separate and make blotch and create a background, okay? So this color, you can immediately change it to, uh, I don't know, to a light color like this. Maybe. Yeah, like that. And now you have these two tools, All right? So with these two masks, now you can use the mask to separate only the flower and the other mask to separate only the leaves. Okay, this, the masking, it can be done for basically everything. It can be done for separation or just for color manipulation, right? So imagine that you want to keep the image, but you just want to change the green to a different green, yeah? So you just go to select all on the mask and snap. So you have only this mask and then you can go to your layers and you can go, for example, to color balance and just adjust the color if the layer is active, obviously, yeah? And just adjust the color, yeah? So I'm going to start with zero, one, which is the original color, and I can just increase the saturation slightly, yeah? Change the hue of the color also slightly, okay? so. You can now have more control over those greens. So you can make them a little bit more blue, for example. So to this side, make the saturation a little bit less. You can make it lighter, or you can make it darker. Yeah? Okay? And then you can just apply. Yeah? And you change the color of the leaves without changing the rest of the design. Okay, so like I said, this can be done to color manipulation or 
to separation. So if I select only the flowers, I can create a new layer and just do a continuous tone. Get all that into this layer. And now I can pipette this color. Put it into there. And just go to the gamma curve and make sure that what I have here is 100%. So I have this as my first color, if I want two colors. So if I want the orange also, if I want this orange here, I can duplicate this layer. Yeah, and now the first color is going to be the orange and the orange, the orange color is going to be this one here. So let me pick this color here. And this color is at the moment 76% of this red. Just going to drag this there. The camera curve and put 76 to 100. Like that. And I'm going to this one. And I'm going to bring the 76 to zero. Like that. So now I will have my orange. And then my red on top of my orange. Okay, so I have now these two colors. Yeah. And in this one, I can still manipulate in a way that I can still change the contrast of the colors in a way that, in every way that I want. So I can manipulate the contrast like this if I want. And we can see the difference like that. Okay, so this is masking and this is how, why masking is important. So, to separations or just plain color manipulation. Thank you.